This video is sponsored by Value Testers. Great promo offer on Testo, Field Piece, and Baccarat. Free two day shipping on purchase of $200 or more on selected seasonal testing equipment. Link in description below. This video is sponsored by Interplay Learning. Simulation based, step by step, service testing procedures. Beginning to advance courses available. A fun and entertaining way to advance your skills. Limited time discount. Link and promo code in description below. Guys, I'm going to put the uh, snowblower on its pallet here. We really didn't get a lot of snow this year. Maybe like four inches of slush. And I did try it, but this got all blocked up with slush. And, and this, this, because see how high this is. And it was really hard to get off. So I got to rework this. Um, take this panel out because if that's all full of slush, it's hard to clean out. I mean, it's not really the the blower's fault because it was four inches of four inches of wet slush. I mean, just snowed and then it rained for so long. I mean, it was it wasn't a true test. But I gotta rework this and uh, I'm gonna put this plow, modify this plow for the uh, for the unit. So I'm gonna get that off of there for now. And I'll be able to, you know, modify this plow, get this plow on there, so I can level off my driveway. Cause you see all the ruts. See how it gets wet, it gets mucky. Every so often, I gotta come in here and, you know, and black back blade this with, with the uh, with the blade. And uh, it's good to have both a plow and a blower. So I'm gonna get this off of there, and I gotta pull these, pull this glass out, fix this, these panels, this. It's getting on that time of year where I could pull all the glass out and start working on it. Oh, crusty, mama. Oh, crusty. I'll be able to put the plow, I'll be able to put the plow right here and, uh, you see how it's got like a V, V action there. It's inch and a half. Let's see, I could use this, um, I'm going to leave this frame on a snowblower, but I'll be able to copy that and make some kind of adapter to this. Probably put a pipe coming across with some kind of flat stock coming down to this, to this piece here. And uh, then those arms there. You know, we'll probably hook onto this this flat stock that I put in, pick it up. Then we got the hydraulic hoses I gotta get the adapters for. It's gonna be a lot bigger than that. We'll hook it up to one of these connections here. Up and down. Oh, this is gonna be this is gonna be side to side, right, on the hydraulics. And up and down is gonna is already on on the trackless. So we'll come up and down on those big pistons, and then the pistons on there will be side to side, and I'll have to get some adapters, but I know what size, this is the size I need right here, it's like half inch, and I'll measure them when I go to the, I might be able to just get some bushings. Get some bushings and just change these adapters. I think I only got one hose though. One hose or two hoses? Yeah, I need a hose for this one. That's fine, we'll get it. This one needs a hose. I will do that, no big deal. We'll lay this on the ground and we'll start fabbing this up. Maybe not today, but it's supposed to rain later. But I'm at the point now where I get this, get this all tacked up, I can pull this out of here. You know, do this welding and I can start taking this all apart and patching these panels. Oh, crusty! I should probably just burn this sucker and buy a better one, but... Oh, we'll see. Like I said, this thing needs some attention, but... Now's the time to play around with it. This is off to the side now. That's off to the side. I could work on it if I have to. I got room all the work all the way around it. And I can start on this thing. 
maybe on the weekends I'll put away at it, do a little work on it. And... Okay, sorry for the wind, but you know it's gonna be. I don't know if you can see it or not, but I gotta get a piece of inch and a half pipe, which I have that across there, right? And then I have to come down with some inch and a half or some two inch square stock, you know, and then put some plate in there. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do it yet, but this is gonna to attach to um, to that plate to lift up, lift up the plow. These will come. These will come down. You know, I'm not too worried about that. But we'll fab something up. I got something to go by right here. So I gotta make a frame like this. That looks like inch and a half, inch and a half by three eight, uh, inch and a half by three by three sixteen probably. I'll measure it. So we're gonna do we're gonna make a frame like that and then we'll mount the frame we'll mount the frame to this we'll probably come all the way out to here you know and it'll come out or we'll come out past and we'll run the rails up here and then we'll have to attach this somehow with some kind of plate but I have I have stuff in the tr I have stuff uh, in the garage I could use for that but this thing still you can see one pistons out more than another so I'm just kind of kind of but it'll be good when it's all done. We'll plow. And it'll give me time to work on this, clean it all up, paint it. I did unhook the chute. You can see how this got all this got all blocked with the with the slush. I mean, you know, and then me trying to get it apart and clean it out. I mean it was just a shit show. So I just parked it and I used my John Deere, which was easier to clean when it got slush full of slush. And, uh, yeah, it'll be a nice little project. I got some panels I want to cut and fix on this, but give me something to do. Keep me out of the house, I guess. Give me something to do. This is a Myers. Come off a Jeep, so it's not really that big of a plow. I mean, it's going to work out really good. Sorry for the wind. You know, these things go like this. Yeah, that's how they go. I took them off because it was uh, just getting in the way. But yeah, it's supposed to rain later today, so I'm gonna... I just wanted to get some stuff done, but I think that plow is going to work out good. Be able to level off the yard. And there's, there's two little arms that come in. You can see these two little arms right here that come in that drop down and there's two dogs that drop down to hold it in. So once I get the piece in there, I'm probably going to have to wrap some chain around it. I might even use a piece of two inch. I might have a piece of two inch that might fit in there better. We'll see. Because this inch and a half is probably a little sloppy in there. If the piece of two inch fits in there, I'll use a piece of two inch. I think that's what that is, two inch angle. So there will be a little slop in that, you know, on backblading, but I could wrap a chain or a couple of chains around that my friend of mine said it's got these. Yeah, they're all outside. I think I scared them away. But anyway, I got this opened up. This did get all full of slush. You know, it wasn't a true test of this thing. It was just all four inches of slush. I mean, you're not supposed to snow blow slush. But anyway, I got this thing mounted here, and we'll see what we do. We'll do something with it. Yeah, a little piece of inch and a half. You can see them dogs that go down. I got them. I got them out to get that off. We'll make another frame just like that. I mean, uh, it looks like inch and a half. I got to get some two, some uh, square stock. I think I got two inch. We'll make a, we'll make a frame for it. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. Not rocket science. <laughs> 